Authority forecast. Well, good evening, everybody. We've got some nice blue skies out there again for today. Really no clouds showing up here on our sky tracker, but that layer of dust off in the distance is beginning to become a little more pronounced out there. So do take the precautions if you are as prone to some of those allergy symptoms brought on by that dust. Now, I do expect it to subside as we get closer to the middle of the week because we've got a lot of humidity on the way and maybe even some rain chances. Thanks to Roofs by Nicholas, though, we can see no rain chances in sight for today. But switching over here to our satellite and radar, you can see that there is a little bit of moisture rushing in from the uh, coast there in the Lone Star State. Right around Houston, you can see just a couple of showers beginning to pop up. Now, as we continue on into tonight and into tomorrow evening, we'll start to see our conditions reverse course. We're really dry right now. We've got a fire weather warning in effect for the entirety of New Mexico as well as some parts of the northern Trans-Pecos and the northern basin and, of course, southeast New Mexico included in that. That's set to expire at 9 p.m. this evening. And again, as we continue into the middle of the week, we'll start to see our conditions reversing course. Our, our dry conditions will start to give way to some more humidity by tomorrow morning as well. Those wind speeds will start to back off at least a little bit and we'll pick up just a few clouds by the time we head into the afternoon hours, which could result in a chance for some isolated thunderstorms to develop as we head closer to about sunset, more so the evening hours tomorrow. Now you can really see that humidity rushing in as we head into tomorrow morning. A little bit of cloud cover to wake up to for the eastern basin should be getting out of the way by the time we get to about 12 noon. And then after that point, we'll start to see some more clouds popping up as a result of some of the storms that are likely to be initiated as we continue on into the afternoon evening hours. Now, thankfully, any thunderstorms are really not likely to go severe. We've only got a small area of the northern basin affected by that marginal risk. Zooming out, you can see that we're far away from the bullseye once again. But as we head into Wednesday, we do pick up another chance at some of those thunderstorms. Now, switching over here to our seven day forecast, you can see that chance for thunderstorms only about 30% for tomorrow and intensity is not going to be very high. Wednesday we'll see slightly higher intensity and a slightly higher chance at 40% there clearing out for Thursday but we'll pick up another chance on Friday. Carson Ozzy looks like it's going to be a rainy week or at least fingers crossed we can pick up on some of that rain. Each day really just has low chances but one of those days it has to pan out. We need it though yeah. and a little rain does it for us. We need it though. Like you said not too much of a severe risk at least north a little bit but hey we'll, we'll take it. It'll take yeah. whatever we can get. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right, Chase, thanks so much. Thanks.